This has to be done 12 times for the year or once a month. This is done to familiarize yourself with the breast so that you can notice any changes at an early period. The first thing that you need to do is to look at yourself in the mirror. Without a bra on, you're going to look at your breasts. You're going to check for any changes in size, changes in color, or the changes in the texture of your skin. So first thing, you look at your breasts. The breast is normally slightly bigger than the other, but it is not so much bigger that you would completely notice it. So you're going to look at it from the front, then you're going to change to your side and check to see if there's any changes in the size of the breast. The next thing that you are going to do is to look at the changes in the color of the skin. Does it look kind of reddish, kind of purplish in color, dark in color, almost like you have gotten a bruise? The third thing you're going to look for is if we, you've seen any dimpling in the skin. The dimpling would mean that if there's any cancer there, that it has been, been pulled in. So it looks like what we call the orange skin look, not that your breast looks orange, but that it has little dots on it showing that it's been pulled in. So these are the three things that you're going to be looking for. From there also, you want to look at your nipple. The nipple in itself, it's normally protruding, and for some persons it may be flat. What you're going to look for in that nipple is whether or not it's been pulled into the skin. I will demonstrate this, showing that, as you can see, the nipple hair is out, it's protruding. But what would occur is the nipple would go into your breast, being pulled in, okay? So this is the fourth change that you are looking for. When you have done that, you're going to put your hands onto your waist what we call the super girl or superwoman pose, you're going to do this. This is done so that you watch the motion of your breast. Whatever you do, your breast should normally move and follow that, what you are doing. So if you notice, once I do this, my breast will become more up and will protrude out. So this is what you want to see. You want to see that your breast follows you. The next thing that you would do is you would go forward. This is done because you want to see that the breast, again, that it follows you. One should not stay up much longer than the other. It should just go down together. Okay? We are looking for that movement. If there's anything cancerous in there, it will take a little longer. One will take a little longer to go down than the other. Once you have done that, the next thing that you would do is you would either you would lie down on your bed or you can do it in your shower. You're going to open up your chest, okay? And our breast is actually a box. It goes from this way, it goes under, and it comes all. So your breast is not just this area. It's all on top here and also going underneath the arm, okay? This area is very important because we have lymph nodes there and this can cause the cancer to spread much more easily because it goes all around and there's a very heavy blood supply in that area. So when you have opened up your chest, whether it be on your bed or in the shower, which sometimes can make it a little bit easier, you are going to take your three fingers, not the tips of your fingers, but the pad part, A parting part, not the tips. And you're going to make three motions. Now you're going to have that in light, a little deeper, and as deep as you can go, because we want to move from the skin, the fat, and also the muscle area. We are looking for something that can be very small, pea size, and not moving. The glands in our breast, they move all around. That is normal. But if there's something that is cancerous, it tends to stick in that area because it is 
needs a blood supply for it to get bigger and bigger. So you're going to go one, two, and three. When you go into the next area, you can either choose whichever one is more comfortable for you, go down towards the breast, or you go in a clockwise motion all around. You don't want to lift your fingers, you want to bring them across, whether it be this way or this way. You're trying to get as much of your breast as possible. So you go across and you do the same, light, deeper, deeper. Light, deeper, deeper. And remember, you're looking for something that is hard and not moving. When you have gone all around, and this should take at least, for most people, 15 to 20 minutes, for going all around for each breast, you're going to do a C, okay, hold underneath your breast and the top, and you're going to do what we call milking. You're going to squeeze from the top with your thumb, come down, squeeze, until you reach the nipple itself, and you're checking for if anything comes out from that nipple, whether it be something brownish, bloody, yellowish, and sometimes white, or clay. Normally, nothing should come out from the breast, but if you are on contraceptives or if you are breastfeeding at the time, milk may be come out according to the age of your child. Okay, so this is what we do once a month. Every month, it should be done at least one to two weeks after your period, because during your period time, your breast tends to be much more lumpy and much more painful and sensitive. So do this once a month, one to two weeks after your period. Thank you very much.